What happened to King Hezekiah's jar? City of Lachish, 701 BCE, Southern Kingdom of Judah. King Hezekiah knew the Assyrians were going to attack the city, so he wanted food available for the citizens and the army. The king had given orders for provisions to be gathered at the Palace of Lachish and other places. Wine, grain, and olive oil were transported and stored in large jars like these. The king's jars had a special seal. When the Assyrians attacked, the Israelites fought bravely but lost the battle. The palace was burned and the walls fell down, crushing the jars and storing to pieces. After some time, since no one lived there anymore, King Hezekiah's palace and the ancient city were slowly covered by dirt. Many centuries passed and the city of Lachish all but disappeared from view. Only the faintest outlines of roads and broken stone walls remained in the dirt. The memory of Lachish faded over time. But then, in 1932, some people who cared very much about the history of the Israelites and wanted to find out more about them, went to the place where Lachish had been, not far from Hebron. They saw the outlines of roads and noticed broken walls and knew that these were signs that a great city had once been here. These people were archaeologists and they began very carefully to scrape away the dirt and to uncover the walls and rooms of the city and the king's palace. Other archaeologists came to work at the site after them to piece together the story of Lachish and the story of the handle from the king's jar. 